The tactics used by the Russian army to capture the Ukrainian city of New York were reminiscent of Stalingrad, one of the bloodiest battles of World War II, the Wall Street Journal reports. The soldiers marched in groups of three, moving swiftly down the street, guided by a drone. When Ukrainian defenders opened fire, the survivors hid in a house. They continued to advance in waves, taking heavy losses until about a dozen Russian infantrymen had gathered in one place. Then they began the process again, the report notes. Their commanders show them no mercy, said a Ukrainian company commander known as Vodole, who led troops fighting in the city. During one operation in New York in August, Vodole's well-equipped men repelled the Russian onslaught with swift and decisive action. Vodole's unit, the 425th Separate Assault Battalion, was called into action this summer after Russian forces advanced in New York City as part of their efforts to seize a strategic ridge in the northeast. In August, the Russians were said to be advancing steadily through the town, using the grain elevator as a logistical hub. One Russian soldier captured in nearby Toretsk described the tactics they used relying on mass rather than skill. The 31-year-old private surrendered, he said in an interview the following day, after two others in his assault team were killed, one by the Ukrainians and the other by his own hand, he said. There is no morale. Everyone is afraid. The commanders say, faster, faster, faster. Under relentless pressure from behind, he said, they advanced relentlessly. Several Russians hunkered down in the basements of a fire station and a New York agricultural chemical supplier when Vodolay's men counterattacked. The 33-year-old, a native of occupied Mariupol, dispatched a group of 12 soldiers equipped with night vision goggles in a US-supplied Bradley infantry fighting vehicle. They dismounted and then a lieutenant, watching a feed from a thermal imaging drone, led two groups of six down parallel streets. Night is our great advantage, said Aquarius. They threw smoke and fragmentation grenades into the basements and then stormed in, killing any Russians who did not escape. By dawn, they had reached a crossroads north of the grain elevator and helped another Ukrainian unit take up defensive positions in the buildings. The next target was the grain elevator, which the Russians were using as a staging area for further advancement. The Ukrainians went around the back of the building, taking up defensive positions to prevent reinforcements. The main assault force of six men attempted to enter through the door on the eastern side, but it was barricaded from the inside. So they broke through the main entrance on the western side, but were repelled by machine gun fire. The Ukrainians expected to encounter the handful of Russians they had seen in drone footage entering the grain elevator, but it became clear they were outnumbered. When one soldier was wounded by shrapnel, the group retreated into a nearby building. Over the next day, the Ukrainians bombarded the elevator with artillery shells and explosives dropped from a drone, but to little effect. It is noted that the Russians had the advantage in height, but they were trapped. The Ukrainian assault group captured the radio station and heard commanders telling their men in the building to hold and wait for help. Vodole told the commander of the Ukrainian assault group, tell them they are being lied to and there will be no help. Ukraine's military claimed it struck a major oil terminal Monday in Crimea that provides fuel for Russia's war effort as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said the war has entered a key phase. Both sides are facing the issue of how to sustain their costly war of attrition a conflict that started with Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 and that shows no signs of a resolution. Ukraine's general staff said on social media that the oil terminal in Feodosia, on the south coast of the Russia-occupied Crimea Peninsula, has been supplying the Russian army with fuel and that the strike was part of an ongoing effort to undermine the military and economic potential of the Russian Federation. Russian-installed authorities in the city of Feodosia on the coast of the Black Sea reported a fire at the terminal on Monday morning but did not say what might have caused it. Ukraine has increasingly targeted rear areas that are essential for Russia's onslaught, now deep into its third year. It has developed long-range drones that have hit oil depots and refineries as well as armories. Ukraine's aim is to impair Russia's ability to support its frontline units, especially in the eastern Donetsk region where the main Russian battlefield effort is stretching weary Ukrainian forces. Kiev is still awaiting word from its western partners on its repeated requests to use the long-range weapons they provide to hit targets on Russian soil. Developments on that question could come next weekend at Ramstein Air Base in Germany, 
when defense leaders from the 50-plus partner nations that coordinate military aid to Ukraine are due to meet. The conflict has largely been a war of attrition, which requires large amounts of ammunition. Late on Sunday, Zelensky said the war is in a very important phase, as the Ukrainian army works hard to hold the bigger Russian forces at bay in the east while also holding ground in Russia's Kursk border region, which it captured two months ago. Ukraine needs to put pressure on Russia in the way that's necessary for Russia to realize that the war will gain them nothing, Zelensky said in a video statement. We will continue to apply even greater pressure on Russia because only through strength can we bring peace closer, he added. Meanwhile, Russia fired six missiles of various types and 74 Shahid drones at Ukraine overnight, Ukraine's Air Force said. Missile debris fell in three districts of Kiev, causing minor damage to civilian infrastructure and starting a fire, Mayor Vitaly Klitschko said. He said nobody was hurt. Three missile fragments fell on a kindergarten, he said without elaborating. Russia's defense ministry said it shot down almost two dozen Ukrainian drones overnight.